guys, it's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom, and I'm here today to plan in my catch-all planner for the week of May 18th through the 24th. So for my catch-all planner, these are happy planner size pages and column widths, but these are actually inserts from Lights Planner Action. They are completely neutral, which I love because I have a blank canvas to start decorating. Now this week, I am so excited, and like that's not even an understatement. Gail from The Planning Girl, and I'm going to pop her name up here because it is the underscore planning underscore girl. Um, so I wanna make sure that you're able to find her. We are doing a collab this week, and we're actually going to be both planning with the kit from the Simply Gilded Painted Garden sub box. Um, I, when I got this in, like I was highly obsessed with it because Honestly, it was this washi that really, really got me. So I'm definitely going to be putting this down at the bottom of my spread. And then to try to pull in some of the reddish, I'm going to use the five millimeter up at the top. So this one is a 15 millimeter as are these bows right here. This is 10 millimeter and then these skinny ones are five millimeters. So I'm going to be putting my favorite 15 millimeter down at the bottom instead of going with a bow. Um, and it'll just kind of create a nice floral like garden down at the bottom of the page. I am going to use some date covers because they came in the kit. The, um, the kits you get two weeks worth of date covers. So I'm gonna use the greenish color just because I think it'll be a nice offset to the red washi I'm gonna use at the top um, instead of the pink. And I'm going to just go ahead and get these all down so that we can get into this spread. But I'm so excited that Gail had asked, reached out to me and asked to do this. So definitely check her out. And I'll have like actual links in the description too. So you can just click because I like to keep it easy. So I'm going to get the date covers and my washi laid down and then we can get into the planning. All right. I am already loving this because of the colors. Oh. Looks like I missed a little bit of washi. So a lot of times when I put my washi down, I'll overextend it beyond where I need it to be and then I'll rip it later just because that ends up being easier for me to lay it down than trying to measure the edge perfectly. And like I literally just rip it most of the time. Sometimes I'll use my Fiskars blade and slice it along a straight edge, but washi rips very easily. So, I do want to get some boxes down. Now, I did forget to mention, fairly certain I forgot to mention earlier, that um, I do have a code for Simply Gilded in the description below if you've never purchased from them before so that you can get a discount on your first order. So her stickers are like a vinyl material. So I'm struggling because of my nails. They're a little shorter than I normally have them, but it's fine. So one of the things that I personally really love to do is layer my stickers and turn them on their sides. So I'm just trying to figure out which ones I'm going to want to layer. I think I'm actually going to want this in the sidebar, which I don't always do that, but I kind of kind of am thinking it. I like this, this fancy one. So that's the one I was thinking for my sidebar. I do like this. Oh, that is... That's a full box. That's actually kind of nice because it's kind of simple. So I think what I'll do is this one I'm going to put over here on Monday down at the bottom because I still need to make sure that I have my cleaning list. And then this I'm going to turn on its side because I love doing that. And so I'm just trying to make sure that I don't cover up the butterfly. There we go. So Tuesday nights, we typically have been doing game night, but the last, last week we actually skipped game night because we, one of the things that we're doing during quarantine is we are trying to watch, watch movies. <laughs> so we actually, as a family, have gone through the entire Harry Potter series and all three trilogies for Star Wars. So we we are living our best quarantine life over here in our household and 
it's been fun. So, I mean, like, the watching movies. It's just, it's so that we have, yeah, you guys know what I'm trying to say. So I think what I'm going to do, yeah, let me turn it going this way. No, I do like it better this way. All right, so I'm going to put this on Friday over here. I feel like I'm probably going to regret that, but it's okay. And then I'm going to do this fancy because it's just adorable. I mean, like, how can I, how can I resist it? The answer is I can't. So I'm going to put her right there because she looks really cute. Now let's make this functional because, like, it's a planner. I need it to be functional. So what we're going to do, we have four colorful checklists and then two foiled checklists. Oh, we had another one of those? That's awesome. And it was actually like the other way. That's cool though. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Monday, we'll go with a color and I think, no. Okay, so here, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with, and is there some sort of, yeah, there is cleaning day header. Um, I like to try to get as much of my weekly cleaning done on Monday. I This is something that I like to do, and now I kind of have my kids doing it. I like to front load my work. So, I'm, and when I say for kids, I have them front loading their schoolwork for the beginning of the week just so that because like you never know if something is going to come up like a beautiful day where I just want to take them out riding bikes or whatever. So if we're planning to try to get everything, whatever, you know what I mean. Um, if we plan to try to get everything done like Monday through Wednesday and then like Wednesday ends up being beautiful and I cut the day a little bit short, we still can fill it in on Friday and Thursday if we need to. So same thing for like cleaning. I like to get all of my cleaning done on Monday. And I mean, like sometimes it ends up being, I don't think I can use any of those other ones. Meetings, oh, I can use the appointments. Groceries, oh yeah, I did say I wanted to get groceries on Monday. So we will just go ahead and put that down just because. I need to remember to go grocery shopping. Eh, it's a little crooked, but that'll do. Um, so over here on Tuesday, yeah, I'll use the meal plan over in the sidebar because that's, I put my meals over in the sidebar. So yeah, let me just go ahead and get that done. I'm going to put this box down because I said that I wanted to. Oh, can't get it. And I think I'm going to save the stickers with like these patterns for another time because like I do have the washi that goes with it but I didn't use it so I feel like I'm going to try to pull in yeah I mean I think that's going to be the only boxes that I that I pull in so it's five total and then I have one two three four for another spread yeah that'll do so I just I love this greenish color so I want to make sure that I am bringing it in um and then yeah we're going to use meal plan oh you know what i could do because it's like it's a white sticker so like it would just be the white so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to bring in more of this washi because i'm i just really love it so we will go ahead and I'm going to have to for sure bring in quite a bit of it over on the other page because like I've got the two headers that I put on Monday that are in this pattern. And now I have this over here in my sidebar. So I have to make sure that I incorporate it in some like one form or another over there. But we're going to stick this right in the middle. This way it stands out. Oh, yes, that is exactly what I had in mind. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, 
I have a lot of colors over here, so I'm going to just use the pink on Tuesday. Oh, I can't get it. There we go. Yeah, again, it's my nails. It's all right. And then I'm going to stick it right here, just so that it's like, because I want to put one over here. Do I want to put one over there? I don't know. I don't know. I want to put one. I'm going to put one on Friday up here. Actually, I think I'm going to stick it kind of in the middle. This is one of the things that I like about not having the horizontal lines is that it's like no rules, you know. So I have space up here that I can do some sort of a decoration or fill something in and I have space here and then plenty of space down here. And then what I want to do is I want to bring in that deeper color because I have it up here. So I'm going to use that checklist on Thursday down here. I think that's about where the box, oh, that is so badly crooked. I don't know. Nope, that's ripping. So I'm going to just grab the undo. Sometimes the Simply Gilded stickers don't cooperate with undo, so hopefully it will. Because, like, I put that down a little too crooked. Um, so undo is actually a product that I get from Amazon. And you drip it, squirt it. I mean, you don't need, like, a lot, but you put it on your, on your sticker. It saturates it down to the adhesive, and then it allows you to pick your sticker up so you can reposition it or put it back on your sticker page for you to use later. Um, it does not bleed the pens that I have used. I use Tombow Fudeno Suke brush pens. I use Inkjoy, um, Paper Mate Inkjoy gel pens, and I use the pens from Simply Gilded herself, like her gel pens, and they're all fine, so. Speaking of fine, um, you actually need a specific pen for her stickers. So these are the ones that she recommends using on her pens. So these are Sakura Micro Perm Ultra Fine Permanent Pens. This one is an 05 and this one's an 03. Um, she's included them in two different sub boxes. They don't show up as like a vivid black on her, on her stickers because it is a vinyl but it does write on them. So that is good at least. You can, she includes something for you to use. And then I think what I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and put down a checklist on Saturday because like if we are productive on the weekends at all, it's typically on a Saturday. Um, I do have a couple of things to mark off, but yeah, I just, I'm going to put it down, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to stick it here. I feel like that is going to just kind of flow a little bit better. That's also a little bit crooked, but not to the point where I'm going to lift it up. No, I'm not going to lift it up. I'm just going to keep telling myself I'm not going to lift it up. All right, so Friday, I'm actually going to use this gratitude sticker. I don't usually use them, but Friday, our county, so I live in Pennsylvania, and my county is finally moving to yellow status. Um, we've been read in a full stay at home order. So this is still like a mitigation process and everything, but it's just nice that we are considered yellow. So I think I'm going to need to scoot that down a little bit actually. So grab the undo again. Um, but yeah, we, our governor has been going through and slowly doing the, um, like scaling people back. So I just, I hope it's not too early for my county and that everything is going to be okay. Um, I am nervous, but we will see how it goes. Hopefully there's nothing to be nervous about. I did offset it a little bit. I didn't go too, too far. I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should have, but like I want to, I want to try and keep it more so in Friday because like it's obviously 
Friday and I want to make it like clear like it's Friday. So I scooted this down. I still have space to fill something in below it. Looks good though. All right, so with this um, with this sub box, we actually got this sheet of icons. Um, they are heart shapes. So Wednesday, I have nothing on Wednesday and Sunday, so I need to do something to change that. Um, where did it go? There we go. We have a little heart trash sticker because Wednesday is our trash night, so I need to make sure that I get the trash down to the curb. Oh, do I want to throw a script down? Yeah, I think I will. I'm gonna use one of my finer scripts. So I made this sheet of trash night stickers myself. Um, I like to mark trash night because that's when I have to get the trash cans down to the curb. We before it like the, our trash company used to come at 6 a.m. and like if you didn't have your trash cans down, it was a real problem. Now they've been coming late like in the afternoon but still we bring them down to the curb on Wednesday night so I like to mark it off there um I think what I'm gonna do every Tuesday I like to do towels it rolls off the tongue towel Tuesday so I'm going to put a sticker down for that let's see I already have a cleaning day over here, so I don't necessarily want to use the spray bottle. And let's see, there's a bow, credit card, letter, camera, card, TV, like I said, the spray bottle, fork and spoon, weights, and a book, so. Now I do have appointments to mark down, and I've, like I said, I have three of those stickers, so, and this is good, two of them are white, and then one of them is pattern. I'm not going to be able to do groceries over here. So let's just peel that up. Um, and then I do need to mark off my oldest daughter's guitar lesson on Tuesday. Um, it is done online or, you know, FaceTime, which is exciting. So she has not lost any, any lessons, any time at all. My middle daughter actually does golf and unfortunately she hasn't been able to meet with her instructor um golf courses opened up in our state last week two weeks ago i think it was two weeks ago um on the first they opened up so we just we haven't done like we haven't taken her for it at all but her instructor wasn't wasn't doing lessons yet. So it was like just the driving range was open and that was it. But now the instructor is going to be doing lessons. So we have to determine if we're going to go ahead and get her going again. She is going to need to wear a mask. So we, we have gotten one. One of our neighbors has made them for my husband and myself. So she made for our daughter too, Monday, Wednesday, and then Friday. So the appointments are in the morning slash afternoon. So 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. is what they are ranging between. So we're just going to go ahead and put this here. I don't want to use this functionally. So I'm gonna stick this here. I might end up scooting those down though. I think that's enough space for me to write. Hmm. I don't really want to use, like overuse the undo to be totally honest. So I think I'll just leave it. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is for Thursday, I'm gonna use this heart, or no, not a heart, this circle icon. I was debating pulling out the heart icons again, but I think I just want to use the circle bow because Thursday would have been my grandmother's 95th birthday. So I kind of just want to mark it off. I think maybe right here. Yeah, I think I'll pull it down just because like I've got this here. So I don't want to have like too much clustered up here. So when I lay down my stickers, I try to think about like how I'm going to actually be filling in the spread. So like I didn't want to have stuff written here and here. 
So that's why I kind of have it here. So it kind of zigzags between the columns. You know, I mean, like, there's no writing here, but it's okay. So that's also why I have the checklist the way I have them. I might put one on Wednesday just for the sake of it, but I might not. Uh, more things have been coming up than I thought they would have been. So having the extra space is kind of nice. Now I'm trying to decide, I want to break up over here, the sidebar, because it's just, it's too much. I don't need that much space for my dinners. So what I'm gonna do, I think that's probably about good. Yeah, and that's even about half. I don't have anything really to put down in the bottom. What I've been putting down in the bottom, like the second half of the sidebar, has just been a um, the live videos that my kids watch during the week. So we try to tune in to all of the educational things that I have found so that they, like, you know, supplemental learning. So 11 a.m. Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Facebook, Zoo America, one word, goes live. They are a local zoo to us. We are just outside of Harrisburg and Hershey, Pennsylvania. So like Hershey, like the chocolate. Um, and Hershey Park has a zoo attached to it and that's called Zoo America. So they go live three days a week. Monday through Friday on Instagram at 1 p.m. These are all Eastern times. At 1 p.m., Pete the Cat goes live and he reads a story and does a drawing tutorial for the kids. They love Pete the Cat Club. And then 3 p.m. daily, so Monday through Sunday, so they do it on weekends too, the Cincinnati Zoo goes live 3 p.m. on their Facebook page. So that's basically just what I fill in over here. All right, and then I think... What I'm gonna do, because I have a circle icon over here, so I wanna try to balance it and put a circle icon over here. I don't know, that yellow kind of looks out of place. Like I feel like I haven't used very many yellows. So maybe I won't. Maybe what I'll do, I'm gonna make a box. It's one of the things that I like to do. Um, I don't know, I just find it useful. So I am, holding this upside down on purpose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead, cause like I said, we have her guitar lesson. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down and I'm going to just give it a slice. And I always put, always put the safety back on because like I don't wanna hurt myself. So I put that upside down because I'm putting this this way. I think that is good. Something was crooked and I don't know what, but it's, I'm not fixing it. I am gonna trim this teeny little piece off though because like I noticed it and it is bothering me now. So, got that trimmed off, but this is looking very nice. Minus the fact that this weekend is pretty pathetic looking because I have like nothing down, but it's all right. Um, I've got every, like all the actual plans down. So, the only thing missing are my videos. And I, th I don't know, maybe I'll use this. I was going to use this one, but I think I'll use this. No, I'm not gonna use any washi. I'm going to use these stickers from Fox and Pip. They are her Amanda sheet. And normally I use like coffee stickers or something else coffee related, but I kinda just want to use a character today. So I'm going to just put her down as she is. We're going to have one video going up on Monday, and that's going to be my skinny. I need to refill my stickers, and I'm gonna do that today. I'm going to make it happen. Um, because I, I went to go and edit that video yesterday and get it uploaded, and then I realized that I am missing um, 
like the intro and everything. So I'm like, I'll just refilm it at this point. I'm done. So I have my skinny video. I need to put up, well, the recipe video is going to go down here. I've been doing drink recipes and I feel like putting them up on Thursdays makes it kind of fun because it's like thirsty Thursday. Um, I'm going to need to do my regular planner video. So I'm going to put her up here just to try to like stagger it a little bit. Um, yeah, the stickers that I was just saying. And then I actually need to do um, a flip through because April is over and we're more than halfway through May at this point. So yeah, gonna need to do that. But I'm going to just keep it to four videos listed. I'll stick her right over here. Let me put it over here on this finger. That's cute. And I still have three on this sheet. I just placed an order yesterday, but I didn't get these. I ended up getting these because I needed more. These are going to be retiring also. So like she's taking both of these out of the shop, but there's a lot of coffee mug stickers that I can get my hands on. So I didn't worry about that, but this girl was just too adorable. All right, so I have these two sheets from Lil Annabelle's plans. These are from her summer colors. Um, unfortunately, her shop has closed down, so you can't get your hands on these at all, but I really wanna use them. I think that this color really matches the, um, the greenish that, we're, that I'm working with. And then, yeah, this like orangey, like coral goes really well. So I need to mark off a Manny. I think maybe I'll do it on Friday. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it down here. Well, that doesn't leave a whole lot of space. Yeah, I'll just stick it up here. I smudged something there, so we'll just stick it. It's fine. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is throw down a little bit more washi, um, just so that I can have a little like just some more decoration because like I feel I need something so I use this in the sidebar so I'm gonna have to go ahead and use it elsewhere too and I think I think what I'm gonna do is actually put it over here I'll use my little And I'm going to be layering different lengths of washi with it and different colors just so that I could be bringing in the other elements. So I'm actually going to put this over here and just kind of bring it part way through Tuesday. So I did that on purpose, I swear. And then I'm going to, oh!
All right, so let's see. I think... I think this is gonna do it. I'm really excited. I love how this turned out. Like I said, I really just wanted, like I couldn't wait to use this washi. So when Gail said about doing this collab together and the Paint and Garden Sun box came up, I was like, that is going to be so perfect. Um, sorry, my hands were like totally in the way. Um, but yeah, I think this came out really cute. There are deco stickers that I could pull in, but I don't think I need to. I'm, I think I'm very pleased with how this looks. Um, using the washi tape kind of breaks things up. So like there is a little bit of space. I could do a weekend banner. Yeah, I'm gonna do a weekend banner. So this is a rose colored days weekend banner because there's just like a little bit of space up here. And I mean like I could have something to fill in, but the weekend actually still has quite a bit of space. So I'm not too worried. There we go. And that looks, oh gosh, I hope it's straight. Oh, did I actually do that perfectly? I think it's perfect enough. It's a little bit high, but I'm not messing with it. I'm just gonna leave it as is. So now I have a weekend banner because like I'm just happy to have the extra foil. Yeah, so I have plenty of space to fill things in if anything comes up. So I have space down here if we do something on Monday. I do have some space here for Tuesday. Wednesday, there's space up here. Thursday, I've got space here and then a little pocket here. Friday, this is free on Friday, as is this. Saturday, I've got this down here. I kind of liked the idea of having this go all the way like to here and then having two columns worth of this washi. I just, I wanted to have extra washi and I couldn't extend this without having to cut off space from the girl. So that's why I did it that way. And using the washi going across is nice because it adds in color. It adds in like just that visual interest of something without taking up too much space that you would end up losing from putting down more full boxes. So in the spread itself, I have just these, but there's plenty of other color happening because of the extra washi that I threw in. So yeah, and I've got so much space on Sunday. So much space on Sunday, plenty of space on Saturday. So yeah, this, this is going to do it. I'm excited. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos. If you press the bell icon, it'll actually give you pop-up notifications so that you'll know as soon as my videos go live. Make sure that you are following and you check out Gail's account, The Planning Girl. So again, pop it up right here so that you can find her. And I'm going to, like I said, have her linked below as well. I want to make it nice and easy for you guys to check her out. I'm so thankful that she brought this up about doing a collab. It was a lot of fun for me and I hope that she had a lot of fun doing it too. And be sure to be following me over on Instagram. My name over there is at Coffee Planner Mom and I will see you guys later.